All right, guys, back with another video. We are in Hollywood Boulevard right now. Back to uh, our favorite place to go. We love coming to Hollywood Boulevard. It's like the central point of Los Angeles, central point of America. When anyone thinks of LA, they think of Hollywood Boulevard. So we're out here. I'm just gonna share Jesus with people, love on people. Last time we were here, we talked to our friend, our homeless guy, that raw, uncut conversation outside the McDonald's. So we're just gonna see who we meet today, and we're gonna talk about Jesus. You think Jesus was a good person? Yeah. Do you think he was God? Yeah. You do? Yeah. What's your name? Knox Marlon Tupac. 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 I'm Bryce. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you think Jesus was a good man? And we saw you talking to the Jehovah's Witness and we wanted to save you because it's a cold. You heard the good news? You want, it? you want me to tell you the good news? Here's the good news, man. Is that Jesus Christ died for you and me. Sin, you know all the sin, there's a bunch of wrongdoing in the world. And Jesus Christ laid his life down because there had to be a perfect sacrifice for payment. Our sin puts us on trial with God. The same way if I did something wrong, I would go on trial, right? Yeah. Our sin puts us on trial with God. And Jesus Christ knew that we couldn't shake ourselves free from our sin, so he said, I'm going to die for you so that you can live for me. How cool is that? Cool. Awesome. What does this necklace on your on your thing mean? Protection. Protection. Are you scared of stuff? Is that why you wear the necklace to protect you? I'm not scared at all. Yeah. I'm yeah. Scared to, to die, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But I ain't scared. Yeah. That's a really real fear, man. Yeah. How you doing, baby? Where do you think mm. where do you think you go when you die? To heaven. Yeah. To hell. Sorry. To both? What is it? Pictures? What? Yeah. What you did. God looks at your heart, not yourself. You know you don't have to wear that necklace if you have Jesus in your heart, right? Do you know that? I ain't know that. Yeah, bro. It's so cool because when Jesus lives inside of us and the Holy Spirit comes in and he, He's the seal on our heart. So when we give our life to Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes in our heart. And the Bible says that our heart goes from a heart of stone, which is one that was of the world, one where we want to do wrong stuff. So now we have a soft heart, a tender heart, a fresh heart. And when that happens, Jesus becomes our protector. Jesus doesn't promise I us. To hear that. I needed to hear that. Come that. on, man. Thank yeah. You. You're welcome. You're a solid dude, bro. Thank you, bro. I just got Jesus in me, and I care about people. So, Jesus doesn't promise life to be good when we get Jesus, but He promises to be with us and protect us. Is what He promises. Jesus is I'm the Prince of Peace. Still gonna wear my stone, though. This oh. is a crystal. Yeah, but if if Jesus is our main source of power, we don't need crystals because crystals cannot hold it. Is it okay? Crystals. I mean, I don't want your energy on me, but it's all good. This crystal right here is a different source of power other than Jesus. So if Jesus isn't our source of power, then that means crystals and new age and all that stuff is demonic. And so when we remove this stuff and give Jesus full access to that. It's not demonic, but this ain't demonic. Well, what, what other source of power is it other than Jesus, you know? If Jesus isn't our power and it's not of God, then it's demonic. Mm. You see what I'm saying? When If Jesus is the truth and we can have freedom in Jesus, right? And Satan doesn't want us to believe in Jesus, he will get us to turn to other things other than Jesus. So if Jesus is our protector, Satan will say, no, just wear that stone instead of go to Jesus and keep living your life. But if Jesus is our protector, then we say, God, I'm going to surrender to you and no matter the circumstance, you're going to be with me through it all. Does that make sense? And so I feel like you know who Jesus is, but I feel like that there's something stopping you from giving your whole heart to Him. There's a lot of shit stopping me. What's stopping you from giving your whole heart to Him? I heard in my heart that you lost a friend when you were 8 to 10 years old. Is that true? I'm going to go check on him.
Hey, Tupac, come here. Let me give you a hug, bro. Was that right? How could I know that? I don't know. It's because Jesus sees you in your pain, and he knows you've been through so much, and he wants to protect you and heal that hole in your heart. So I don't know what you've been through. I don't know how I could have known that unless God was trying to get your attention. But God sees you. Please, come here, bro. Come here. You're good. Come here. I love you, dude. You know, how could I have known that, you know? I don't know. My spirit told me. It's because Jesus loves you and He sees you. And sometimes as human beings, we carry a lot of guilt and shame and pain that we don't have to carry, you know? And so maybe God's just trying to get your attention to say, hey, listen, I want to take that pain from you. So when Jesus died the death that He did, the death that me and you deserve, He took all of our sin on the cross. And so nobody knows better what you've been through than Jesus. Nobody knows what you've been through better than Jesus. This is crazy. You a whole stranger. But it's just because Jesus loves you, bro. I need some weed. Alright guys, so basically what just happened is I felt the Lord prompt me to go talk to that man. We passed by some Jehovah's Witness earlier and he was talking to them, which by the way, like Jehovah's Witness is a cult. It's not Christianity. Um, and so when I saw him, I felt compelled to go tell him and kind of like take that pamphlet away and things like that. And so when I went, he wouldn't look at me in the eyes and he was struggling. So then that's when I shared that word of knowledge that I heard in my heart that he had lost a friend to violence. And so he freaked out and walked away. Couldn't believe it, but that's just the pain he was harboring inside of his heart. And so I went up to him and tried to comfort him. And it was just a mixture of a lot of emotions, a lot of pain that he was carrying, a lot of pain, you know, confronting him that he couldn't deal with. And then and then it was a combination of that and a combination of just spiritual warfare, you know. Our battle's not against flesh and blood, but it's against principalities. And so when people are confronted with the truth and God shows up and meets them and proves all of their, their logic wrong, when the spirit, when Jesus comes in, it proves logic wrong. And He shows up and meets them right there. And there's a battle for His soul. And so that's what was going down. But we're not going to stop. We're going to keep trying to talk to maybe a few more people and share Jesus and see how it goes. But that was a really cool encounter. Um, and to show you, like, guys, you can ask God to tell you things about people when you're in conversation so that you can ask God to show up so that all their thinking and hurt for, about Christianity when Jesus was misrepresented to them and their ideas of God can be shut down when God actually shows up and speaks you through you. What do you think about Jesus? You bro? know, Jesus is the n You talk about real s right now. It's the real n So are yeah. you a Christian? I'm not, I ain't gonna lie, but you know, I know it's a real n I'm not okay. Christian, I'm not, not Muslim, I don't f with none of that. Okay. You see, I'm saying, I just believe in God. I know Jesus is real So if he's the real, then why not put your faith in him? I don't f with him. Okay, why? Literally. Why? I don't know. Why? He's not my n I don't know. I don't even know. You don't even have a reason. You just I don't, don't. Yeah, I ain't got reason, okay. but I know it's real n Yeah, okay. I believe in this Everybody here has done yeah. bad. That's a right? Fact. Yeah. And it's like this. If I murder someone, I'm going to go to jail. And then I'm going to go on trial, right? And I'm going to look at the judge, and the judge is going to say, the reason you're going to jail is because you murdered someone. Yeah. You did something wrong, yeah. right? Yeah. Because we do stuff wrong, yeah. it puts us on trial with God. Yeah. God is perfect, and He has a list of everything we've ever done wrong. Now imagine a judge looking at you with everything you've ever done wrong, yeah. and he goes, this is everything you've ever done wrong. Yeah. But don't worry, somebody else is going to do your time. You can walk free. you got a clean slate. How's that sound? That's crazy. That sounds crazy, bro. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Now think about this. Jesus Christ had a list of everything you've ever done wrong. Because wrongdoing, no matter, even though you weren't there, because God is eternal. Anybody, I could die for you right now. Jesus died for yeah, you. So what separates me from Jesus? The fact that he rose from the dead. If I rose from the dead, you'd probably listen very carefully to what I was saying right yeah. now, you know? Yeah. But Jesus is the only one that has done that. And because he rose from the dead, that means he's God. Because only God could do that. Jesus yeah. never died for me. I never see that. I was there with the time he was there for people. I was there. I don't know right. what the f happened. I don't know what the people do. So, right. what the hell are going to believe for him? You know, right. I know he do some big. Right. See, he make his story. Right. You see what I'm saying? He died for a billion people that was doing the rough stuff. You know, all that. So, you know, I heard something of that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, 
respectfully, because he's a legend. Oh, you think he's a legend? Yeah, he's like, a le yeah, he's a legend. He's the biggest. He's biggest oh, in the okay. game because you know Tupac was doing the music. This nigga was doing the music too, but different style of music. Jesus was a. Uh, what he was doing? What was, was he sick. doing? He uh, was trying to save you and me. No, I don't was there. How you gonna save me? <laughs> One more clock. How you gonna save? How did? Gonna save me if you was there. How you save me? Make you say, why you say this? Why you believe in Jesus and you ain't believe in your big brother? Like, yeah, the reason I believe in Jesus is yeah. because Jesus came back to life. He right. defeated death three days later. Look, listen, listen, because you asked me to explain. He rose from the dead. Yeah. Over 500 people saw him rise from the dead. Yeah. The same way that we know World War II happened, we know all the presidents existed, the same way we know Michael Jackson existed is because of history, right? Yeah. History proves that Jesus died on the cross, he came back to life, he revealed himself to people, and because he did that, because he came back to life, like, bro, if you came back to life, if I watched you die right now and get back up, I would be like, what the heck? I would listen very closely to what yeah. you say. But I think he was, I think he was God. And I believe that Jesus Christ lived a perfect life and he died on the cross for all of our sins. The day Jesus is going to come here and say, city man, I'm going to die for you. I'm going to say, yo, you're the biggest yeah, right yeah, now. I'm going to yeah, believe yeah, in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's but, the thing. If Jesus were to come back right now, he's not coming back to save man from sin. He's coming to destroy all sin. And people that don't believe in him, if he were to come back now, he's going to only bring the people that put their faith in him with him. So he's going to destroy me because I don't believe in him. You so that's telling you right now is my enemy. Uh, the Bible says that if we're not a friend of God, then we are an enemy of God. But He's not our enemy. We're His enemy. Nah. We harbor our heart against Him. Yeah. So the Bible says if we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God and we believe in our heart, if we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and we believe in our heart that He resurrected from the dead, yeah. that we'll be saved. But it's not like a, it's not like a, I'm afraid of hell. It's like if we believe in Jesus, Jesus can live inside of us now. The Holy Spirit will come and live inside of you. Yeah. So this, but I, but I might be honest with you, I'm believing this. Well, I just believe that in order to get to God, there has to be a bridge, and the bridge is Jesus, and Jesus is God.